So according to Brett Siegel, and he works for Clutch Points, so according to Brett Siegel, the Pistons need scores next to Cade Cunningham, and they may be willing to sacrifice players like Jalen Dern or Isaiah Stewart for a player of Ingram's caliber. Who's this guy? He is Brett Siegel. <laughs> what's what's, what's, no, what's, no, what's, no, what's, no, what's he do? No. Uh, he clutches some points. He, <laughs> he clutches his pearls too, huh? He clutching pearls, Brett? No, I just, uh, I mean, if it was Isaiah Stewart, yeah, I'd be cool with that. I don't want to move off Jalen Duran, really. And now. Who we, the fuck would be your center in that situation? Yeah, you you can't move off Jalen Duran. Paul Reed, look out. No, but. Here he comes. I, I think, yeah, you don't move off of Jalen Duran for. Uh, Brandon Ingram right now. Yeah. Where does Brandon Ingram fit on this team if you do bring him in? You got you know you got Tobias Fontecchio. The three. I don't think Thompson. you have the money anymore. You don't have the money. You don't have the money. That's why this is fucking. St- I'm sorry if I mean like like mad disrespectful. You, you better start clutching pearls. I'm gonna find you whatever his name was. Brett Siegel. No disrespect Brett Siegel. What, whatever it is. But I'm Stupid sorry to tell like everybody the truth. And honestly, Brett, I I, I don't feel bad Siegel's for about you. You made bird. this up out of your fucking ass. Yeah. Just because you you saw the Pistons fans wanted. Brandon Ingram once upon a time. Let him cook. Our president of basketball operations comes from the New Orleans Pelicans who were not willing to pay Brandon Ingram. Meaning, Trajan Langdon may have that same sentiment about Brandon Ingram. That's true. He's also said publicly multiple times they want to take on bad contracts. They, they want to be the team that you evolve as a third that ends up with a, a Jared Allen that the Cavaliers did. He, mm-hmm. He's been vocal about that. On top of the fact that what we just said beforehand, if you traded away both guys. I have no problem with, with Isaiah Stewart. And to be honest, as much as I love Dern and would hurt to see, I, I get that point of view too. But if you trade both those guys. Oh, he said both of them? Singularly for Ingram or a player of his caliber, whoever it may be. Who is who is our starting center in that city? Who for, from the not? Paul Reed. Make it make sense. Paul Reed. A great backup. Yeah, a great backup. Best backup in the league, He'd according be, to Chris. Yeah, best backup in the league. Jason Taylor with uh, postgame. Six-man loading. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is... Uh, Such a fucking... Like, this, don't report this as news. This is stupid. No. Yeah, this is just like... Uh, I I saw Pistons Twitter. They get fiery, so I'm going to put it out there. Nah, come on, man. Exactly they they did, just yeah. They literally added three forwards to this roster. With yeah. Tobias Harris, Ron Holland, and now Paul Reed. They're not going to go trade no. for... Uh, overpaid Ingram now maybe yeah. before this roster was constructed that could be a piece that people wanted but oh, yes. the roster construction is pretty much done at this point we don't even yeah. know what we have right now we don't so, know who's keep we don't know who we're, who's staying who they're keeping what the future looks like I think they just want to see what these young guys look like on the floor I think Trajan mentioned that in his press conference as well and he wanted to take on the bad contracts for like this was again I know I don't know fuck the all due respect Brett Siegel what are we doing be, be better be better you know goddamn well you made it up, or at least speculating that, because you saw it be rumored previously. Yeah, but I think I think what it was too is I, what I brought up yesterday on the show that the Pelicans obviously losing Valanciunas, like they lost a lot of their front court. So that was just like taking a team at the bottom of the league. Oh, nobody cares if this team has eight forwards and no centers. We'll just who cares? It's the Pistons. Like yeah. I, I, that's just that's just what it seems like to me. And I'm looking at the math now. So apparently our projected cap space is at 13 million. So even with Isaiah Stewart, 16 million. Brandon Ingram's making 36 this year. So you couldn't quite even get there. That's yet. not math and Brett. Yeah. You would have to throw in, and I know Nick doesn't want to do this, but you'd have to throw in a SAR to make the money work. Nick, you also saw this. I seen you. You don't actually sit in the chat. I think initially. Yeah. Do you know what else this guy broke the news of? Yeah. Go ahead. That, oh, yeah. Kemba Walker to the Pistons and Jalen Duran to, to the New Knicks. York Knicks. Yeah. So this cool. guy, no credibility here. Um, Yeah, if you see this guy's tweet, block him. Don't give him any <laughs> single respect. <laughs> you heard it, Detroit Media. Do not let this guy get your follower or your attention. Yeah, I mean, and I, there was a... Uh, I, f- I forgot who was like kind of battling back and forth on that one. I had to slam the fucking Duran trade in his face, but like... This guy, what do you? I I've mean, never used clutch points as like a point of reference. I've only g- looked up clutch points to steal graphics because they're the, f- the quickest of jersey swaps. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Aaron S that's, says that's literally it. Aaron S says Ivy or Sore and Stewart works fine. Ingram would be perfect for us. You guys are crazy. Ivy and Sore, Stewart works fine. You talking about for the trade? Yeah. Who is our center? Maybe like three. Four Where is this no, money you're keeping, coming from? You're keeping Durant. Okay. You're saying if you trade Jaden Ivy. Or Asor Thompson and Stewart, you can get Ingram. Where is the money coming from? You got 13 now. Okay. Yeah. 16 for Stewart. Okay. And then whatever so Ivy and Asor are probably making, what, 
Ivy seven, makes seven, nine. Eight, or eight, Asar eight. makes eight. Yeah. He, I don't know what Ingram Ivy wants makes. like fifty something. Yeah, that's well, true. You, yeah, that's the extension though. This year he's only on the books for thirty six million. But what, why would you? You're not trading those guys for. F- you're not. Yeah, Ingram, you, to, yeah. To sign Ingram. <laughs> rentals are for teams like contending. I'm not going at you. I'm just saying rentals are for teams that are contending for championships. And They're you're not, not for teams that just won 14 fucking games. Yeah, I don't know. He you're could not, be, a, you're could not be our Kawhi. It. This could be our 2019 like, Kawhi. We get Ingram. We get the ring. I like Brandon Ingram, <laughs> and, I, and I once upon a time like was open to that too. But after seeing the following moves, listen yeah. to Trajan Langdon speak. Look at the cast base. This is not. There's no validity to this whatsoever. They're not re signing. Yeah. They would not sign Brandon Ingram to a big deal. Somebody a- added me. I think it actually was the, the Pelicans page that posted it initially was like, well, he's a he's a real reporter. And I was like, well, I have a James Edwards. Yeah. If anything is cooking up the Pistons, he's going to be the first to report it. Yeah. James Edwards. Yes. Yeah. Or Shams or fucking the guy who Shams took over. He didn't take over for him, but he's uh, took over from the top, is what I meant by that. Yeah, Woj. Th- those are the three voices where, like, oh, yeah. I'm buying into speculation. All did, due respect. Did, and Kool-Aid, obviously. Did JJ ever address that? Shams, I'm going to get to you later. Did, yeah. did, did that ever happen? I, I guess not. I mean, I don't know. Oh, Wait, what happened? He was silenced. Shams was right. Uh, Shams was right. About what? So, uh, after the Lakers offered that job to whoever it was from whatever the college. The UConn coach. Daniel or whatever. Yeah. Annie Hurley. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And he turned it down. So, JJ is like, Shams, we'll get to you later. Talking about, like, because Shams reported that JJ was the favorite. And then Hurley got the, the job, quote-unquote, and then obviously didn't fall through, and J.J. was new coach. Speaking of James Edwards covering the Pistons, second-year player Asar Thompson isn't scheduled to participate in the Summer League. I did read that earlier today, too, yeah. yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like that at all. It makes me, A, worry about his health, and B, I, I mean... I mean, I mean, alongside the report of that news, they, they did say, in fairness, like they're kind of just taking it easy. Yeah. They don't want to risk anything, which... I get. Nick just wants to find a reason to hate the guy. Yeah, I want to see him. I want to see him and Holland dominate high flying dunks during the summer league. I'm trying to see some see some highlight real plays, Dude, and can't. maybe an improved shot. How about that, fellas? Yeah. That's what I would be more. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. give a shit about him dunking on the summer league. I would like to see him shoot the ball more. He did have some nasty summer league highlights the last year, like those steals and dunks. They they were they were nice. Yeah, but I don't care about that. I know he can do that. I want him. I want to That's see not shoot. how you build your team. Summer league highlights. No. Okay. How about Dern's highlights? You want to sneak those in? All right. Let's. Or you want to come back? Let's do that right before we go to break. It's just a quick little. Just do that and then go to commercial. Or we gotta go to read. Okay. Let me find it. Let me find it here. Dunk, squeak, squeak, dunk, squeak, squeak, dunk, dunk, <laughs> dunk. Oh, oh, uh, dunk. That one he actually was talking some shit too. I don't remember. I think it was going on Tatum. Hey. Dunk. Squeak, squeak. Hey. Is there a player he reminds squeak, you guys squeak, of? Squeak. Jalen Duran. Uh, hey. Jalen Duran. Dwight Howard. Exactly, Dwight Howard. Guess who compared him? Guess who compared him to him? Everyone. Paul George. Who? And Who's that's he? what everyone wants to give up on. He said he was like a young Dwight. Like a, yeah. last year, he said he tried to push him around, and you can't, can't, couldn't move yeah, him. Yeah, he said that because he's big and, and solid. And he uh, finishes everything around the rim. Yeah, well, yeah. play some defense, and then I'll compare you no to Dwight sketch. Howard. Yeah, Dwight <laughs> Howard's literally one of the best defensive centers of all time. Yeah. So you need to you play need, you need a to play defense. you need to play defense. Hey, if he was, you know, a defensive player of the year candidate from his first year in the NBA. So yeah, so this very is a guy part. that you got to on the offense. If, if you want, if yeah. you want to be <laughs> Dwight Howard comparable, yeah. you got to play defense. He's more he's more Andre Drummond right now than he is uh, than he is Dwight Howard. Yes, like. That's that's unfortunate where you're at. And if Dwight you're a Pistons fan, three-time Defensive Player of the Year, you hope for Dwight. And we had this, we 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 kind of like bitched about this last week, or at some point I remember. But like the people that hung on to uh, Demoya, the people who hung on to Killian Hayes, Stay cool. the people who are hanging on to, to Jaden Ivey right now. But the people, the so the same people are so willing to give it up. Jalen, he's only 20 years old. Yeah, for real. I don't understand the people giving up on Jalen. Giannis didn't break it to, and like different guys. But, but look at the numbers, too. Giannis didn't break into, like, who he became until the age of 23. Yeah. This guy's 20 years old. Yes. He's three years away from, like, there's still time to develop. And we talked about it a lot. A lot of, of like, 90% of defense is the want to play defense and the understanding of timing. So once he gets more time in the NBA and he realizes, yeah, I got to fucking play defense if I want to stay in this league, he's going to, he's he'll be fine. I'm not worried about that at all. 
Yeah, I'd be more happy if those highlights were him making defensive stops. He made I mean, a couple stops on uh, on Anthony Davis. Uh, I watched some of the, some more of the highlights, and he had a couple nice stops. That's that's good to hear. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is a great time for him to against the NBA's best to work on his defense and also, you know, obviously offensively finding open spots and stuff in the in the paint and everything. So I think this is huge for Jalen Duren that he's playing in this select.